Uh, oh. We seem to have slept the uh, most of the day. Well, you needed it. You know, all of your running around and catching criminals and whatnot. Fair enough. There was something we were supposed to be doing. The guard captain, whatever his name was. Adius? That's the one. Thank you, my good man. Ah, uh, hello? Damn those storm cloaks. Damn them all to the Deadlands. What happened to you? The storm cloaks happened. They won the civil war in Skyrim. My unit and I were near solitude at the time. Hunted us like dogs. So I eventually came here. At least Cyrodiil remains under stable Imperial rule. Oh. Yeah. I heard about that. What will you do now? Once I've scraped together enough coin for the trip, I'll probably take a carriage to the Imperial City and explain what happened. Hopefully I'll get reassigned somewhere in Cyrodiil and get steady pay once again. But still, Skyrim, no longer under Imperial rule. That thought frightens me. Dark days approach for the Empire, I fear. Uh, I... I wish I could help you in some way, but... Duty calls. Best of luck to you. Until next time. Ooh. That's sort of what I afraid what I was afraid of happening. Well I'm home again. And I need to find Adius, wherever he is. On patrol? No. You're a tracker. <laughs> More or less. Any idea where he might be? My guess would be the barracks. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good... good point. Citizen? Changing of the guard. Soldiers from the Skyrim Oops, Civil me. War, here in Bruma? Those Nords should stop relying on us to prop them up, I say. That guy wasn't even a Nord. He's one of ours. Eh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Probably. You know your way around pretty well. Uh, yeah. I've... Poked around in here a bit. <laughs> Mind your step. Oh, there you are. Uh, adios. Hey, friend. I just um wanted to talk. To say you're a stranger who just wandered into my path as I was looking for stolen artifacts. We've accomplished a lot together. You're a rare sort. You're the kind of person who stands by people and does good by a fair city. I can respect that more than I can respect most. If you're up for it, I was wondering if you'd let me buy you a drink at the Gerald View. We can talk as friends, as it were. Sure. I'd love to. Uh, would you mind if... my friend here joined us? You'd think me and... Eh, never mind. Great. I'm looking forward to catching up. Right. Uh, we'll give you a bit to get... Yeah, stuff settled and whatnot. Or not. We probably just caught him coming out. That's a fair point. I I kind of don't want to follow him too closely because that could be weird. Eh. Uh, guard perks. They make me squirt me. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, no kidding. The heebies and the jeebies. <laughs> huh. Yep. 
Nintendo, right? Yeah, I'm just, uh... Admiring the statuary, as usual. Hey! Spare a coin for an old veteran. Of course. Here you go. Bless you, sir. Bless you. A veteran of... Where? Which... which war? May I ask? Aye, that I am. Fought in the Great War against the Dominion. Oh, that one. I lost my weapon, lost my sight, and lost my freedom. Can't do much now on account of my eye. If only I had an extra septum to help me buy a loaf of bread. Oh, uh, well... Luckily, you now have an extra septum. Uh... Any memories of your time as a soldier? Lots of them. I was there, you know. At the Battle of the Red Ring. I saw the bloodshed. The chaos. I had a journal. Kept a record of all that I went through. But those damned bandits came through and stole all my belongings. Journal included. Serves me right for trusting that slimy Argonian and the tavern. Cowers and Corners, or whatever his name is. I know that look on your face, and I know that you can't help but help people. Thank you. Uh... I could get it back for you. I happen to... be a little bit familiar with the slimy caverns down below Bruma. A little bit. That sounded awful. You do that for an old beggar? Praise the divines! I'll reward you as best as I am able. Yeah, my father died in that battle, so, you know, I do my best to help veterans as I'm able. So, yeah. See you around. Hopefully with the journal. Leaving already? Oh, alright. Yeah, we've got someone to meet. Yes, we do. Lead on. Are you going to be alright being in a tavern and whatnot? I'll be fine. Uh, hello. Greetings, I'm Ambri, Ambri the Bard. In the mood for a song? Ah, uh, just like old times. What? Uh, anyway. Excuse me? Oh, thank you for the offer. We're, I'm here meeting someone. Uh, do you want me to just hang out here and keep tabs on the place? That would be most excellent, thank you. Alright. I will let you two catch up. Or three. Right. So, uh, you don't mind if if I have companions around for this, do you? How's it going, Adios? Ah, you came. Excellent. Now we can speak as friends. I guess I should just cut to the chase. For a long time, I've felt like I've kind of just been going through the motions of being guard captain, you know? Like a part of my soul was torn out of me. That's... interesting. Is it because of the war, or your family back home, or something? What brought this up? It all goes back to a um, mistake I made a long time ago. A Excuse guardswoman me? under my service, Ivan Vidici. She was one of the most courageous and stalwart guards, or friends, I've ever had. And she died. Because of me. Oh. Now... I, I somehow doubt that you caused her death. You didn't kill her, did you? Did she betray you or something? What, what happened? I was leading a raid against some bandits. Some of the most dangerous, most loathsome bandits in the Geralds. She was fighting alongside us. I made some... bad calls. We were surrounded. And she perished. I've never forgiven myself for it. Never. 
And since then, it's never been the same. When you're a guard, you've got to be somewhat distant from things. You can't get too friendly with the people you're serving and arresting. And so there's been a hole in my life ever since. Oh. I see. And I suppose I'm different because I'm not from here. So... What's... What's next? Uh, how do you... Are you... Are you dealing with this? How do you plan on dealing with this? Well, the other day, that thief you helped apprehend, the artifact pilferer at Yen Goulet, got out of jail somehow. Oh! I suspect we haven't seen the last work. of it. But as of right now, things have been pretty quiet. Well, except for one thing, one big thing. Ever run into Therina's cutters? Oh. I have. Yeah, you're pretty personal with Therina's cutters, and not in a good way. Could either of you maybe fill me in on who exactly they are? Well, they're some of the meanest bastards I've ever seen. Strangely organized, too, for bandits. That's what we're up against. Where... we're up against? Do you mean... You and the guards, or do you mean me? Ah, uh, right, yeah. I've gotten so used to working with or alongside you, I just sort of assume. Oh, that's fine. There's no pressure on you to help me with this, of course. But the cutters need dealing with. I've had more than enough of them. Well, we're sort of... Arden. Hmm? You help that man find his journal. Let's say Test and I deal with Thorina. Are you sure about that? Your arm is... I am sure. For us, it's personal. Just like it is for Adius. We can talk outside, but... Let me do this, please. Oh. Yeah, sure. Well, you don't know me, but I'd be happy to help out. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right, then. There... Our scouts suggest they're based near Greenwood, where the Geralds meet the Great Forest. An old repurposed fort. Locals and bandits alike have taken to calling it Fort Cutpurse. And Thorina. Meet me back in Bruma when you're done. I'll see what I can do to get you a fitting reward. Best of luck, friend. Be careful in there. Of course. So, other than that, and catching up, how has it been, how's it been being Captain of the Guard? It's tough. On one side, you've got criminals. The kind that like to hide behind law and policy to wriggle out of justice. On the other, you've got politics, constantly meddling in our affairs as everyone walks on eggshells. And here I am in the center, just trying to make things work for the people. Sometimes I wish I'd stayed down in the Imperial City. Right. Uh, yeah. I think we need to have a chat, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's good to meet you, Adius. You're good people. Bye. Uh, or we can have a chat in here. Yeah. Where did Zay test? I have no idea. So... You know, actually, can we talk outside? All of these bottles are making me a little twitchy. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't want to put you through any more temptation than necessary. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you are. Hello. I heard you had a bit of a chat. Uh, yeah, and we need to talk about it because I have some concerns. Eh, figure you might. Lead on. How did you hear all that anyway? Gajita's very good ears. Very sharp, sharper than, uh, even a Bosmer. 
Fair enough. So... You two are gonna go take out Thorina and her cutters. Uh-huh. Well, that is what I heard. Ah. Uh, and I have some concerns, namely about your arm. I'm really fine. Look, hon. I've been running from this for, well, years. I've been running from everything for most of my life. Let me do this, please. I promise I'll come back to you. Ah. Uh... And you're going with him, I assume. Well, of course I'm going with him. Someone's got to make sure he's not going to get stabbed in the back. Or the shoulder. Or the anything. Besides, I am a vampire now. Shouldn't say that too loud, but my voice doesn't carry much. True. And you're very strong, and... <sighs> you're not happy about this. Uh... I'm a little worried, yeah, but you'll be all right, and I have things to do to distract myself, so yeah, just you keep, keep him safe. You're right. No, I'm worried about you. I'm... Right. You know where Greenwood is, right? Of course I know where Greenwood is. <laughs> Why do you think I get so twitchy being around the guards? I was actually a criminal here for a long time, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you two be safe. I'll try not to worry too much. I'm not running from you, love. I'm just running toward something that I've needed to do for a while and have been too scared to. I love you. Be safe. Uh, I would give you a hug or something right at the moment, but we are standing right in the middle of the street. And I understand completely. So. Give Z and I a chance to come up with a plan. You go talk to that Argonian in the wherever that place was. Of course. We'll meet back up again here. Yep, you know it. And I'll probably come back with, if not Thorina's head, whatever she uses as a weapon these days. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, good luck with the journal and whatever else. Right. Love you. I love you too. Don't worry about me too much. You... you... you know me. Yeah, I do. Alright, worry as much as you want, but try not to make yourself sick over it. Okay, that I can do. Good luck. As I fall off. And I'll protect them. Are you going to be alright with this? Yeah. I think so. How's your arm? Uh. <laughs> we'll see. Oh. Oh, good. Okay, well, I will make sure to watch your back. 
like closely. Good. You know places better than I do around here. Do I? Really? Courier. Well, that's not true. I probably... We might both know where that place is. Oh, the old fort by, uh, by, by whatever that place is? Greenwood? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to get to it expeditiously. I believe the quickest way is just to go down the hill and take a right where the path does a little zoop off of the road. That made sense. You didn't get a whole lot of sleep, did you? Eh, I got enough. So Adlin is going to worry about you until, uh, until we get back. Yeah, and I don't blame him. I'm kind of terrified to be truthful. Eh, I don't blame you. This is why I'm here. To watch your back, and also to get revenge on the bastards. For Cat and Reese and Earth Egg and everyone else. Yeah. Doing that thing again. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I'm nervous. And also, you went quiet. I'm always quiet. Eh, less quiet these days. Just a couple of drunk bastards. This should be fun. What's up here? She'll get up. This is new. Oh, hello. Well. Someone had a hell of a time in here. Uh, we can't really get distracted. Fair enough. Figured I'd come check. Never noticed that place before. Eh, we haven't that much uh, reason to come off the road. That's a good point. Speaking of which... Try to keep up, Z. I don't want to lose you in the fog. Mm-hmm. Keeping up. I can smell you, remember? Very good point. Who's this? Hey, kid. Get home. It's late. <laughs> you slowed down? Yeah, I'm just... Remembering things, as usual. Eh, don't get too caught up. Now take the road that uh, goes this way from Coral, or to Coral, rather. Hold on. We've got company. A traveler! 
Please help me. I'll show you Stay what real pain feels like. Uh, uh. Damn you. Search. Find the assassin now. You found me. <laughs> Just a scratch. Really? How's that for just a scratch? Oh, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Did you kill her? I... Quite honestly, I don't know. And that's a little bit troubling. Well, you are a kind of beast. Hello. I am. You're right. Good thing I know the smell of Cutter. Figured that's who these people were. Is this... this the path? I think it's the path. Let us go. Well, fun. River troll. I got him. Thanks. There you go. You gonna need some more arrows? Uh... Probably. I am sort of running out of the ebony ones. Let's see what I can give you. Last thing I want is for you to be running out of arrows while we're in there. That'll do. All right. That is a lot of arrows. Yeah, I'll keep a hold of mine, but uh, I don't quite have the strength for a bow back. The axe is difficult enough as it is. Oh, there we go. Hey, <laughs> just like old times, sort of. Not a bad plan. What's that? I slow them with frost magic, you shoot them in the face. Or stab them, one of the two. Hmm, that sounds like a good plan indeed. Okay, we have reached the way shrine of Ekatosh. Huh. So now we take a right, or a... Yeah, that is a right. Follow the deer, sort of. You be careful in here too, Z. Of course I will. I am always careful, unlike somebody I could mention. What was the found you? Case in point. Hmm, <laughs> 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 lovely. You all right? Yep. Bastard came out of nowhere. Except it wasn't really nowhere, it was in here. Smells like bastards. Let's do this. Right. Hi there. I believe I'm looking for you. Hmm? Great. The Restful Watchman. 
Rooms and food, that's what we do. What do you need? Uh... Need to figure something out. I'll be back. See you. Maybe. Uh... Right. He won't know anything. Where is the camp that he was talking about? Tell me it's not all the way over here somewhere. I'm probably staring right at it. Feel... Ah. Like an idiot. Crap. Probably should have just followed them out. Well... I know how to get down there from here. Oh, this'll be fun. It's like we'll both be dealing with bandits today. Now, while I'm here, and since I'm no longer a member of the College of Whispers, and mages tend to keep odd hours. Let's see what they're up to, shall we? Indeed, this is odd. And you say it just appeared here out of thin air? It isn't mine, that's for sure. Where do you think it came from? What is with this commotion? Where did that come from? Who made this mess? That's the thing. We don't know. It just appeared out of thin air. Oh boy. Maybe that stranger over there has something to do with it. Hello. You there. Come here. Ah, uh, Hi. I promise... You I there. didn't... Are you the cause of this mess in my conclave? I, I don't... I don't think so. It doesn't look like much of a mess to me. Don't play ignorant with me. You are involved in this somehow. Sure. I mean, really. You expect me to believe that you just happened to randomly walk in, just as this statue appeared here? Ah, uh, I wouldn't expect you to believe it, but that is actually what happened. May I ask how you would think I made this? Very clean mess? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I suppose within the unknowable depths of the arcane, something such as this is not entirely implausible. That said, I suppose it would be downright foolish of you to strut in here after causing the mess. Right. Well then, I apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to the Bruma Synod Conclave. <laughs> Attendant, clean up this mess, would you? And take that statue to the back for examination. Oh. Uh, yes, first adjunct. Hi. Uh, sorry. Um. I might be able to help with this. Maybe. Uh, well, it's something to keep me busy, for sure. Hey there, uh... I'm Roland Wickert. D uh, hello? Hi. I, I was going to ask about the... statue, but... Uh, I'd rather ask... How much do you know about the College of Whispers? And how welcome are they here? I think the same as everyone else around here about them, mm-hmm. Which is? That they're another magical organization that the Synod have no standing relationship with. That's a good point. Right, fair enough. Uh, who am I going to talk to about that 
Talk to you later. I don't exactly have the time for trifles such as this. Mess. You seem like a helpful fellow. Would you be willing to help discover the source of this mysterious object? If so, let me know. I was going to offer, actually. I could use someone of strong wit and not merely of strong arm. Well, I'm hopefully someone of both. What brings you to the Bruma Synod Conclave this fine day? Night and... What in... The... So I recognize that as an alien statue, don't ask me how, but I might be able to help with it. As you noticed when walking in, a couple of seemingly random items have been appearing in the Conclave of late, and I'm not quite sure as to why. Given that, as you can no doubt imagine, the Conclave is very busy, I am willing to hire external agents to look into this. Well... <laughs> that is sort of what I do. What would you like me to do? What would you be hiring me to do? But a question? After the first item appeared, I had one of the attendants, Attendant Wickard, take it back to the study area for examination. Noticed. Check with him and see if he has discovered anything. Oh, uh... Well, I doubt he would have noticed anything that quickly, but hey. This gives me a chance to see how the other half lives. I probably should not look at that. That's probably a logbook of some kind. Study area. Would assume this place. Where, cat? Where have you gone? Uh, probably to sleep. Hate to interrupt a mage when he's getting a some well needed shut eye, but that's not him. Oops. Uh, Roland? How can I help? Uh, hi. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, Cadius wanted to know if you found anything unusual about the statue, other than that it is. It, it is of alien origin, which I could have told you, but nobody asked. Anything unusual? Uh, well, it's hard to tell, to be honest. I'm not exactly the most experienced mage in this area, but... But? But? I did notice that it looks an awful lot like an alien design. Haven't you seen the massive statues by the entrances of their ruins? I also know that alien statues this portable and small would be very valuable, and therefore would probably all have been scavenged from the ruins. That would follow, yeah. Uh... So, who would be teleporting Iliad artifacts to your conclave? Is there someone in a dig nearby, or...? My theory? I think someone sent it here, as a test. Someone who has access to valuable artifacts such as this, that they plan to come get it back. I think someone is going to try teleporting here using the same teleportation uh, uh, technique. We should- Hmm. Hello. I'm going to continue studying this thing. You might want to tell Cadius that this doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Of course. Interesting. Why do I get myself into these kinds of wild guar chases? They probably just sent me away to a way to get some sleep. Ah. Well. Somebody appears to have dropped a Welkin stone. Uh, excuse me, Cadius. Have you learned anything more about our little perplexity? Ah, uh, a little bit. Roland is still studying the statue, first of all. Then what are you talking to me for? While he was studying, a soldier appeared. So, someone is actively doing this as we speak. By the eight. Speaking of which, maybe we can take advantage of this. Search the conclave. Look for anything that seems out of the ordinary and bring it here. Maybe by examining the items, we can determine their origin. Hey, that might work. So, like... that. Ah. Uh... Right. 
No reading letters, that would be stupid of me. Hmm. A mushroom. Ah, uh, that doesn't strike me as terribly... What am I supposed... How am I supposed to know what's unusual around here? I'm not a synod. Well... They all have an aura. Never mind. What are they doing here? Oh. I feel a bit like a spy right now. I think someone must have read our notes about the meteoric glass. Which is to say that it can be grown. Some one of these days, I hope to actually figure out a way to get people to stop using soul gems because, frankly, it's a bit archaic. Not to mention cruel. Glad I'm kind of soft on my feet these days. Right. Okay, so the book was the last piece and I'm an idiot. Uh, Cadius. Have you learned anything more about our little perplexity? I hope so. I think this is everything. I might be wrong. Give them here. Let's see what they can tell us. Uh, there's a soul gem? Not just any generic form of soul gem. This is a black soul gem. Only two types of people use these. Murderers and necromancers. Thanks. This certainly isn't an item which carries with it a positive stigma. What else? Oh, let me guess. Ah, uh, here's a boot. Fairly common, but it seems familiar for some reason. This almost seems like the type of boot I would wear. Intriguing. What else? Ah, oh, the book that took me a million years to find. A book? Weathered memoirs, eh? This seems to be a journal of some sort about the creation of Frostcrag Spire. Well, this is an interesting twist in our little mystery. Before we examine this further, I'd like to see any other artifacts which may have appeared. So, like, that one? Uh, that's all of them. These told me a lot, thank you. One thing is certain. Whoever these items belong to is affiliated with the magical arts. Yeah? More specifically, the darker side of the magical arts. It would also seem that our mystery mages have some connection with Frostcrag Spire. Right. What can you tell me about Frostcrag Spire? Because I did go in there at some point last year, and I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> Haven't you seen that large tower in the mountains off in the distance? Yes. That is Frostcrag. Yes, I know where it is. It was supposedly erected back in the late Third Era by some old mage with too much time on his hands. Quite the sight, isn't it? It would probably still be of great interest to the Synod too, were it not sealed off many years ago by its last residents. I'm not quite sure what part the Spire plays in the summoning of these mysterious objects. Yet. We shall see. Okay, I'll go check out Frostcrag Spire then. You're actually only half right. You see, now that I have at least some idea who's behind this, I'm restricting this investigation. Oh, are you? The Synod appreciates all your help in solving this little enigma. But at this point... Wait, what's that? Oh, not again. What could that be? Zombie! Ah! Oh. Oh, uh, I'll let you handle it. You seem to be doing quite well. You've got him. Just, just one more. You, oh, hi. Uh, right. And off they run. Lovely. Ah, uh, zombie. <laughs> what is it? It's a zombie. Uh... This is madness. I am sick and tired of these intrusions. 
It would appear that your services are again required before payment can be rendered. Uh. I cannot simply step back and allow this to continue. Not now that there is a tangible threat to our hall. I, we, must act. Stop. Go to Frostcrag Spire yeah. and do whatever is necessary to put an end to these infuriating escapades. Sure. I just hope that the college isn't somehow involved in this. Divines know they live to make trouble for us. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, uh... Be, be back soon, I guess. <laughs> God, I hate zombies. Lost Crag Spire. Well, hey. At least it's on the way to where I'm going. Hopefully, Rathen's a test don't have to deal with zombies. Ew.